Hey guys, Hi. welcome back yes. to the, the Fun Family. So today's video is going to be Easter themed. So I'm going to decorate the house a little bit and then I'm going to do a haul of everything that I got the girls. They really want to be a part of this video so they're going to help me decorate a little bit because I'm only really going to decorate their room and then like two things out in the living room. I didn't buy too much stuff. I haven't really ever decorated previously for Easter so this is my first year kind of doing it so I don't really have like a huge collection I kind of am gonna have to just build it throughout the years so I only have a few things but the girls are really excited because like I said I'm going to be decorating their room and then I'm gonna have to like kick them out for the second half of this video so that way they don't see what I got them but are you girls excited? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm excited because Easter's gonna come. Yay! So I laid out everything on the table here so I can show you what I got. I pretty much got everything from Target, I'm pretty sure. I'll have everything linked down below as always in the description. So the first thing I got are these nesting eggs. Aurora is really excited about these. She's been asking me ever since I got them to open it. So she's like dying to play with these. I'm not sure if they actually like open and you can put them inside of each other. So I'm not sure about that, but we'll see here in a second when I do open them. I got some placemats for the girls. So this first one has like bunnies riding tractors, chickens, flowers, um, bunnies, just a whole bunch of like animals. Can I have this one? Um, I like it. Yeah, if you want. And yes, I will open those in a second, okay? Yeah, you girls can both share. Yeah. We can do each day. One day I'll have this one, one day we'll have this one, then the next day. Yeah, that's a good idea. So then the other one that I got, it says Happy Spring, has flowers and butterflies on it. And then I got this little tapestry to hang in the girls' room. I thought it was really pretty. The girls' room kind of has like a boho feel to it. So they have like tassels in there and stuff. So I thought this one would match perfectly in their room. And then I got this like cream colored pillow. I thought this would be really pretty on the couch because I kind of have like this color in the living room. So I thought it would match perfectly over there. And then I got this little wooden bunny that says Happy Easter. This is also for the girls room. And then the only other things I got are some garlands. So this first one has these little like bunny pom-poms it has ears and yeah i thought it was really cute and simple this other one i'm probably going to put this in the girls room i think i'm not too sure yet so one of them is going to go in the living room and then the other one is for the girls room so i kind of think i'm going to use this one for the girls room because i feel like this one would be cuter in there so it's a like macrame garland it has a bunny and then it has carrots. So you girls ready? Yeah. Go decorate? <laughs> yes, come here, I'll open them right now. Yay! I want to open them because I know to open them. Oh, you do? Yeah, because yeah, it shows these. All you have to do is just pull Be it. careful. Wow, you weren't kidding. You do know how to open it. She got it. <gasps> Let me it's see. Fun, but it can't go on. It's a baby chick. Here, let me help. Wow. Let me open this bag. So the girls just open the nesting eggs and they do in fact open. So here is the girls room. Sorry for the lighting. So usually I only really decorate this area right here for holidays. So the girls have these bookshelves up here. I still have it decorated for Valentine's Day, so I have to swap it out for Easter. I always decorate these bookshelves right here. So I usually hang up a garland for the holidays on their bookshelf right here. And then I swap out the books. That way we can read like all of the holiday themed books. So I have to take down all of the Valentine's stuff, swap it for Easter stuff. And then usually this little tapestry right here. I will swap it out for a 
holiday themed one as well. So I'm not going to do too much in here, just kind of like um, fix up, you know, their bookshelf, add a few things, and swap out the tapestry. You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday Is perfect in here. I, I, my body too. <laughs> Do you move the nail up more? 
No, I left it. It's just that this tapestry is a lot shorter than the other one, so that's why it looks like that. Oh my gosh! That's Alvin! <laughs> what, is it? what does it say? Is it, what it says is it? Happy Easter. And then I swapped out all of your books, too. <gasps> can we eat? Yeah, can we read this one? Yeah, we can read it tonight, okay? Oh, I like the old It's cute, right? Yeah, yeah it's they cute. <laughs> you love it? I had to put Jay in the carrier because she was getting a little fussy. Hi. <laughs> She's always sucking on this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Wow, look at you. <laughs> Did you guys see that? She just grabbed her a little pacifier. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's teething because she bites everything. She is like always just chewing on everything. Hi, oh, mama. And she's drooling. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so I finally got Jade down for her nap, so now I'm going to share with you guys everything that I got the girls for Easter. So if you're new here, I do have three girls, Layla, who is seven, Aurora is three, and Jade is four months. Since Jade is only four months, this is going to be her first Easter, so I'm really excited because I get to make three baskets now. So these are the baskets that I got my girls. I'm really excited about these. They are so cute. Literally everything that I got in this haul basically is Target. There are a few things that I got from Amazon. As always, everything will be linked down below in the description. But as soon as I saw these baskets, I had to jump on it and I immediately ordered them. I have these baskets in so many different styles because Target has like um, the cream colored ones, these ones, Target has black ones I believe, they even have ones with like leather handles, so Target just has so many different styles of these, so you've probably seen these all throughout my house, so I thought these ones were just so cute for spring, the handles are rainbows and then they have tassels, so I immediately placed that order as soon as I saw these on their website. They're just so cute. So I got one for each of the girls. So the first things I'm going to share with you guys are for Jade, who is four months. How stinking cute is this little bunny suit? I cannot wait for her to wear this. Since it's going to be her first Easter, I plan on taking some pictures with her in this. And I am just so excited for this. It's way better quality than I thought it was going to be. I got it off of Amazon and Amazon can be hit or miss when you buy clothing off of there but the quality of this is amazing and it came in a bunch of other colors too it came in like cream um a brown and then i want to say a blue too it has a zipper it doesn't have the little feeties and then it has this really pretty like knit ribbed material that's lined in the hood and then the ears are lined in that too so the quality of this is just so good and i cannot wait for her to wear this it is just so cute so that's going to be her easter outfit the next thing that i got her is this little soft book i always try to put some type of like holiday themed book whenever i make my girls baskets so i got this one for jade she loves soft books right now i have a few of them and whenever we do tummy time i like to place one in front of her that way she can look at it and she can touch it and they, this one does have like a crinkle sound it has like little felt um grass right here and then it has like a little bunny that moves up and down and then it has a little 
I totally did not know it did that so that kind of freaked me out right now I definitely thought it was like a little squeaker in here but I guess it has a little sound in here that was really weird and then it also comes with a little like teether right here so I'm pretty sure she's going to love this because she is so into the soft books right now and she's teething I also got her a little hat because it's gonna start warming up and it gets really hot where we live and we just fix up our backyard we just put like turf back there so pretty sure we're gonna spend a lot of our time outdoors this summer so i wanted to get jade a hat that way she doesn't like burn and her face is covered so i got her this khaki colored one and then it has the little tie that way their hat stays secured on i also got jade some stuff for whenever she starts to eat i am exclusively breastfeeding her right now but by the time it's easter she will be going on six months i believe or she'll be like six months the month after easter so i figured since she's tiny she obviously doesn't need like toys and candy in her basket right now so i got her feeding stuff since she's going to be starting um solids pretty soon shortly after easter so i figured i would throw all of that stuff in her basket i do plan on baby lead weaning and i'm really excited about it because previously with my other children i always started with purees so i'm just over the moon excited to start baby lead weaning so i got her some things for that so the first thing that i got is this gather mat and i actually haven't even opened it up either so i'm really excited to see what this looks like so if you're not familiar with the brand gather they have a bunch of like leather, I think it's vegan leather mats. And they have like a bunch of different sizes. So you can take like the mat to the beach or you can use their mats for like a family picnic. Or you can use it to put under your child's like high chair. And then you can easily just wipe it whenever they get food on it. So that's what this mat is for. I'm going to put it underneath her high chair. This is so pretty. So it's a pretty decent size. I can't really hold it up to show you guys. But the color is like cream. And then it has these neutral tone birds all over it. It's super pretty. And then the bottom kind of has like this suede material, I want to say. I'm not too sure what material this is. But it's all just that color on the bottom. I also got her some spoons i heard these are really good for baby lead weaning because it's easy for them to get food on the spoon and they can feed themselves so i got this one from them this is by the brand num num so there's two stages of spoons in here so the first stage is like the starter spoon and then the second stage is when your baby starts to eat like thicker blended foods like oatmeals and stuff i believe so I got those for Jade. Those had really good reviews for Baby Lead Wing, so I'm really excited for those. I also got Jade some bibs, and it came in this really cool, like, carrying case, which is really nice if you, like, go to a restaurant and you want to bring bibs for your baby. So I appreciate that it came with a carrying case. These are by the brand Nightingale. I got these off of Amazon. So it came in a two-pack, so here's what the bibs look like. This first bib is in this really pretty, like, peachy brown color and then it has daisies all over it the second one is in this sage green color and then it has little birds on it so the last thing that i got jade is a swimsuit we actually got a little stand-up pool last year so we have one in the backyard so we plan on swimming again a lot this summer so i got all of the girls a swimsuit so this one is jade's how cute is this i cannot wait to put her in this for my children i like to gravitate towards the swimsuits that have sleeves that way my girls are like they have more coverage for me personally if i'm in direct sunlight for like five minutes i literally will burn all over so i like to have them be more covered whenever they're out in the sun so i like to gravitate towards swimsuits like this versus like the strap ones i just 
those are just uncomfortable for me so i don't like to put my children in that but that's just my preference so this one is striped it's really pretty it has this cute like ruched detailing on the sides it ties in a little bow has it on both sides and then this one zips up too so it's really easy to take off so you don't have to like pull it over their head or anything which i appreciate because as a mom it's kind of like a hassle taking them out of their swimsuit so i really appreciate that this one comes with a zipper and it zips all the way down so it's really easy to get them dressed and then the bottoms are really cute too has this ruche detail right here with the same colors as the top and then it has a ruffle detail all around so that was everything that i got jade in her easter basket so now i'm going to move on to aurora's aurora is three years old so her basket is geared towards her age so the first thing that i got her is a swimsuit as well this is literally the same exact one as jade so i'm not going to open it and show you guys i also got her a book this one is called the easter egg the illustrations for this book is what drew me to it i think they're just so pretty and detailed so that is aurora's book the next thing that i got her is a little hatchimal collectible egg so it has like a little um a little like figure in here so i got her that for easter i usually gravitate towards like things that are not toys so for my girls' baskets i like to gravitate towards things that they can use throughout like spring and summertime so like swimsuits sandals sunglasses um chalk bubbles things that they can use outdoors is what i like to put in my girls easter baskets because easter is the start of spring so it starts to warm up and plus two my girls don't even need any more toys we just had all the holidays their birthdays are around the holidays so they usually get so many toys towards the end of the year and since easter is in the beginning of the year i just do not like to gravitate towards toys for their baskets so this is literally the only toy that i got for their baskets oh i forgot to show you guys jade's toy so i do have one more thing for jade so this is the last thing for jade's basket it is a little carrot i thought it was so fitting for easter this is a little um teether so it's just a little silicone carrot teether so that is finally the last thing for jade's basket so now moving back to Aurora's basket, I got her some sandals. I always get the girls sandals for their Easter baskets. That way they can wear them all throughout spring and summer. So these are the ones that I got Aurora. They are super pretty. These are from Target. They're in a pretty like rose gold glitter color. And then they have buckles and these are also velcro too which is really nice because she could just easily put these on herself i also got aurora a bracelet one of these is going to go in layla's basket too so i got them some bracelets i also got aurora a hat so she can wear it whenever we are outside and it's a hot sunny day so it's in a denim blue color and then it has flowers all over it so now i'm going to kind of move into layla's basket who is seven years old and then i'm going to show you what i got for both layla and aurora's basket because i got them some things that they can use outside so i'm going to have to like open them and split them up divide them between their baskets so i'm going to show you guys what i got just for layla's basket and then i'll show you guys the stuff that i got for both of them to split in their baskets so i also got layla the same exact hat that's going in aurora's basket for layla's swimsuit unfortunately they were sold out of layla's size in the swimsuit that i got for jade and aurora so i had to get hers in a different style but it kind of has like the same vibe to it so here's what the swimsuit looks like it's in this really pretty lavender color this is layla's favorite color so i know she'll love it and then I'll show you guys a side comparison so you can see the swimsuits. So this one is Jade and Aurora's. So it has a zipper. And then the one that I got, Layla, also has a zipper. So like I said, I tried to keep it kind of similar. That way she didn't feel left out. So hers has a zipper too. 
but hers is actually a one piece but i got the one that has sleeves because like i said i like to have my girls um be more covered when they're out in the sun so layla's is long sleeve and then the back also has this ruffle detail which um jade's and aurora's also has some ruffles on it so kind of similar i also got layla some sandals too since layla is now in girl sizing it's kind of hard for me to find like exact matching things for both layla and aurora layla loves matching her sisters but since she is in girl sizing now it's kind of trickier but i found these ones and i thought they were pretty similar to the ones that i got aurora so these ones are aurora's these ones are Layla's. So Layla's is also in this rose gold colors. And then it has a strap to go around her ankle. She actually asked me to get her ones that have straps around the ankle because she doesn't like her foot like sliding out of her sandal and stuff. So I got her these. And both of the sandals are by the brand Cat and Jack. I also got Layla a Hatchimal. And then for Layla's book, I got her this one. This one is called Marshmallow. This one also had um, good reviews. So this one is Layla's. So the last things that I have to share with you guys are for both Aurora and Layla's basket. So I just have to split it for them. So I got some Silly Putty eggs. It came in a six pack. So I'm going to put three in Aurora's. And then three in Layla's because Jade is too small for these. So those are for Layla and Aurora. I also got some sidewalk chalk. These are Easter themed, so they're Easter eggs. And then I also got some bubbles. Again, it came in a six pack, so I'm just going to divide it. I also got the girls these jumbo sized Easter eggs. I'm going to put one in each of their baskets. So Jade is also going to have one in her basket. I'm not too sure what I'm going to put in these yet. I didn't want to go out and buy like any like treats or candy yet just because Easter is still like a month away. So I didn't want that stuff sitting in my house. So I'm going to have to go out whenever it gets closer to Easter and buy something for them. So I'm not sure what I'm going to put in it. I'm probably going to put like um, some type of like jelly beans or chocolate in Aurora and Layla's. And then for Jade's, I'm not sure what I'm going to put in hers yet. Just because she's not eating. She's just breastfeeding right now. So I'm going to have to get creative for hers. So I will figure out something. But for now, I just have those. The last thing that I have to share with you guys is actually a little craft that I'm going to do with the girls on Easter Day. So I got them these paying your own bunnies so these are just wooden bunnies and then it came with some paint so that is actually everything that i got the girls so i'm gonna go ahead and put all of their baskets together and then i will show you guys what their baskets look like so small under the night sky it's just a stool but i don't mind you could never wear me out even after all So this one right here is Aurora's, this one is Jade's, and then this one is Layla's. 
Okay guys, well that is it for today's video. I think their baskets and their room turned out really cute, so I'm really excited, especially since it's Jade's first Easter. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the Moran family and make sure you hit that bell. That way you guys always get notified every single time we upload and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Bye.